Okay, and we're back. Sorry, I just felt like I was waffling then and going off on a tangent and I need to get back to what I was saying. So, watch Brogan's vlog. She went to Disney World Florida and she went to Universal and she did all that kind of thing. And I think she was sponsored by Attraction Tickets Direct and she went with her boyfriend Benji. Um, obviously, they went together and me and Tom were going together. So I was like, all oh, couples, oh, this is really cute. And I just kind of could relate a lot to what she was like talking about before she went and the videos that from when she did go. I know she did go previously um, to that with one of her friends, but I don't, like just through reading through YouTube and things like that, I don't know how it panned out, but the vlog that she did do was so good. And I watched those first and so she was on her own cause she's always done vlogging and she's done it for years and years and years. And they were really good. And then I went on to watching vlogs with Brogan and Benji and I feel like my face is going to come in. Nope. And she didn't come in. So where was I? Universal. Got right. So I watched the vlogs and I got to the bit where she, Brogan and Benji met Steph and then I started watching Steph's vlogs and she's got a whole YouTube channel with travel, beauty. She loves Harry Potter and I quite like Harry Potter but I'm not I'm very very Disney um, but I do like it and I do when I did go I loved the Harry Potter part of Universal like it's amazing if you go there you need to definitely go there and Hogwarts Express is really cute and you can see like platform nine and three quarters and that side of it is really good um, but yeah so then once I watched those vlogs I then went on to Eleanor Dreaming, um, Victoria in detail and Disney in detail they're the same person but um, one of them is more like a lifestyle vlog and the other one is purely just Disney and then I've watched her and her friends and it's just this massive Disney community um, a woman at work who I used to work with um, told me about It's Orlando Time so then I started following It's Orlando Time and as the year went on I knew more and more and more about Disney and I, and I collected so much Disney merchandise that it was just ridiculous and then I got introduced through It's Orlando Time to Tim Tracker and oh my god their relationship is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Okay so I don't know how long it's going to let me do this vlog because I've just had a notification that my storage is full because I've never vlogged before so I didn't know how much videos actually took up. They take up a lot. So let's just wrap this up really quickly. So the first question was who has and what has inspired me for my channel. I think you guys know I just love vlogs now. Like. I just love it, love watching them, watch so many different wonderful vloggers and I just wanted to get involved, I wanted to have a go and I feel like I love Disney as much as the next person and I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to talk about my lifestyle. I don't know, if you find it interesting you find it interesting, if you don't you don't. Um, the second question, are you going back to Florida anytime soon and will I vlog it? I'm going to Florida next year actually in August for two weeks on the 26th of August with my boyfriend Tom and yes I will vlog it because I'm going away next month to Paris and I'm going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party so I'm going to have my camera by then um, so yeah let me know what the tripod is I think I've already said that anyway because um, I will be vlogging that and I'll be doing like a daytime vlog because I don't know if I'm going for one or two days because we were meant to be going with Tom's cousin and his girlfriend but I'm not sure if they're coming or not so um yeah so I will do a day one like daytime and then I'll do a separate Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party vlog and then obviously a day two if we decide to go to studios so yeah and then around that I'll do like a general travel because we're going to go see the Eiffel Tower and go sightseeing and go out for meals and shopping so I'll keep you guys updated and there'll be vlogs on that um, oh, also, can you let me know, or if you have any idea about what is the best SD cards, because I'm going to get um, a Canon G7X Mark II, also camera advice, um, I'm looking to spend around £500 because I've looked at, um, I've looked at a few of them, and I think I, that's just generally how much they are if you want a good camera, so yeah, if you've got any ideas, advice, just let me know, because that would be really useful. Um, uh, three things that you would do for a pamper evening session uh, go get loads of snacks because <laughs> I love chocolate um, 
I love their chili heatwave Doritos with I if you go to Aldi it's like a garlic and herb dip and I love pink gin but like Diet Coke or something like yeah that that would do me nicely um chocolate wise or snacks I don't know I love cookies like the triple chocolate cookies that always last but I'm always trying to be good so I can never usually have them but I usually do <laughs> um yeah uh but three things for pampering well I have those so I guess that's kind of one of them but I usually wash my hair, like get a bath bomb, have a lovely bath. I don't usually paint my nails because I have them done. And that's my nails at the moment. I'm going for gel because I want to grow them. Because I did have acrylics all the time and my nails just were ruined. But I don't know if it focus on my phone. Can you see? They're lovely and they're getting longer because they were so short. It was ridiculous. Um, and what could be the last thing that I do? I don't know, I usually just like get in bed and put on a film and I would have had a shower, put on like some fresh... Good afternoon. Sorry that the last video might have been a bit of a rush end because I think my phone ran out of memory and it just like stopped and then I didn't finish it or I forgot or I got distracted and then went off and did something else. So I think what I was meant to say is the third thing for like what do I like about a pamper night is probably just like getting in bed, watching a film, like fresh pyjamas, fresh sheets fresh bed in whatever disney film and that is how you have a pump night but yeah i prefer doing videos in the daytime better lighting whatnot but what i thought i would do now is a little haul just to kind of round off the video and yeah so i'm going to show you what i've got the last couple of days and i went out this morning if you're watching my instagram stories then you'd know I went on a hunt for the Mickey Mouse um, Christmas wreath that's meant to go on your door. And have they got it in the Bristol store yet? No, they don't. So don't waste your time going there because I went there at half nine this morning to go and get one. First thing, get it out of the way, done, because I don't like it on a Saturday when it gets too busy and they didn't have it in there. So I was a bit disappointed, but I've got a few bits that I can show you, which I, I quite like. Um, but first, I've shown a couple of you my new water bottle, which I got from Asda three pounds like look at it it's so cute it's a little watermelon i love it but i kind of <laughs> i um i got another one <laughs> i went to primark and look at it it's got cute little daisies on it and i absolutely love it and it was a bargain it was four pounds i like it it's like a one and three quarter ounce one litre slash three quarter ounce water bottle so I'm pretty pleased with that. It go on my desk at work, make me drink more water. Because I have a really, really cute little Lion King one, um, which came out when obviously like the film came out and whatnot. But it's not very big, I think it's for kids. So I like a lot of water, otherwise I have to keep going back up to the tap and refilling it, and it's a nightmare at work. So yeah, but we went down to the homeware section, and they had this really, really cute phone case, and it was £4, and it's done brown, and I just absolutely loved it. Four pounds. So I'm gonna put that on my phone today. Tom bought me bless him. He bought me a few things for Christmas, and oh, he, that, I think they had like a stocking in there with Minnie and Mickey on. He was like, "Do you want it for Christmas? Like we can put it away now." And I was like, "Yeah, okay." So he got me that. This is for Christmas, so I shouldn't really show you, but for anyone who wants to go in and get it, it's like a travel bag, and I already have one, so it's like ridiculous. It was what. £18, so it isn't the cheapest thing in Primark, but it has like a below storage area here and a zip at the top and it comes with a cute little tag which says it's all about Minnie and Mickey. So yeah, I like the print on it though, I have another one and I prefer this one I think, so yeah, it's a bit more sophisticated than the other one. And to go with that, but that's upstairs, it's like a mini, like a little mini rucksack to go with that with the same print and that was 12 pounds so it's cute if you want a little set but obviously we're gonna go to the new year's eve party so i'm gonna take that with me and just take some hand luggage so it's nice and easy don't have to bother with the hold because it's only for a couple of days so yeah uh what else did i get i got this because we're gonna go to the friends first and this is really good this was in the sale for two pounds so it's a photo frame and I thought when we go to friends first we can have like a picture on the sofa with the umbrellas and the water fountain behind us and put a cute little picture in there for like to make a memory I guess, I don't know, really cute. 
Um, the last two things I got from Primark were uh, a Marie Passport case holder and a luggage tag. I mean, how could I not in the sale for two pounds and one pound? Like, I just couldn't not. It'd be rude not to. It's really cute. She's really sassy. It's like, I'm out of here and pulls off. And she's got a really sassy little look about her. But yeah, I love them too. And then, oh, we went to the charity shop on the way home and my mum's going to kill me. But I thought this would be really cute. This has come away from that, so I need to say that back onto there. But um, when I go at Christmas, like, look, it's so cute. It's ears and earmuffs so my ears can stay warm. Um, but yeah, it was like one ninety nine, so I was like, yeah, okay. I love Disney. Anything Disney for me. Um, we got a DVD, a Maleficent DVD. That was like 99p. And then... The other day, oh god, it's my Lush bag, but this isn't from Lush. The bottom bits are from Lush. We went to um, b and and look at that. Two tumbler glasses. Last year I got the, um, is it Snow White and Cinderella? Like little tumblers, and they've lasted all year, and they're like my favourite glasses to drink my drinks from in the evening. So, like with my dinner and that, so... I got the Tinkerbell one this time because we saw Tink fly when we went to Disney this year, so that's like stayed a really like nice memory with me. And they were six pounds. So last year I think I got them for like five pounds something, but I mean it's not that much difference and obviously like price increases and whatnot. But yeah. And then I went to Lush on the way home because I thought I'm gonna have a bubble bath tonight because I'm gonna get I'm going out tonight with um, another couple. So me and Tom are gonna go out for like cocktails in town and have drinks. And I got a bath bomb for before I go out and um, it smells so nice you should definitely go and get it I think it was like four pounds mm, I can't wait for that 